don't secure the situation right now, it's going to become worse. So what we need to do is try and get as much uh, supplementary feeding to these children so that it doesn't worsen the situation. The growing hunger in Sudan presented the UN and aid bodies with a critical decision. How to get food into the south in time to stop mass starvation. I love the people of South Sudan, I love the people here in Tong. You know, they live a very simple life, but it's a difficult life. And their faith in the Lord, when they come to the Lord, is very genuine and deep. They want to serve Him, they want to sacrifice everything they have to serve God. And I love that um, heart that's in them. Mission Hospital in Tong, South Sudan. This is a pediatric and maternity unit that we see over 50,000 patients a year. Uh, it's full every night. We're actually in need of a second ward. Another ministry that we run here in South Sudan is called CHE, Community Health Evangelism. This is a ministry where we go into the villages, we take our medical skills and we do outreaches, and then we just evangelize and share and love on the communities. The big prayer request for these refugees is the food, the shelter, water, you know, sanitation, all of these things. We don't have set up refugee camps for them. Organizations like Indeed and Truth can step in and, and help take some of that burden um, would be great. So thank you for praying for that. And my prayer for the people here is that they would learn to put their trust in Jesus, that they would really learn not just to have a, a belief in Jesus, but to really experience him in their everyday life, putting all of their cares on him and allowing him to care for them. That's my prayer for the people here.